We are back on Get Up, quarter past till the hour. Bill Belichick was on Pat McAfee yesterday. Take a look at his setup. Coach, <laughs> uh, hey, you got some stuff behind you, Coach. There's wow. some things behind you there. I don't know if you knew that. that that's my bling. Okay. <laughs> that's on my fingers. That's my bling. Okay, and it does beg the question. He's got the pretty nice home setup, yeah. Kmart, but I'm going to let you be the judge. Who has the better home setup, Bill Belichick or Damian Woody? Can we see Ooh. D. Woods' home set? Because that is, Ooh. I mean, is it sitting it's, in an art museum? You know what's missing like there the is, is the grand piano that Damian has. Right. But I got to say, uh, I'm going to go with my Wesleyan alum, Belichick. With the, with I the like that we ball. have, like, not, it's not a still photo of D. Wood, but we I actually know. have a little bit of it. We shake your head about too. Like, I know. Sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> he must have heard our response. <laughs> so, who did it better? Were you going to go with Belichick? Right now, Belichick, now, I mean, right, hello? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Where are your I mean, Lombard really, I mean, he's really stunning. <laughs> and he got yeah. the Emmy up there, too. Now. Right, that's right. right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's got oh, all. He's, he's, he's what now? He's, he's stunting on them. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, we won't get into it. But, but the point of it is, well, it looks nice. Okay, let's do a special edition of Explain Your Tweets with apologies oh, to speaking a, of oh, a yeah. Wood. Like wow. Queen. Okay, uh, speaking of, uh, because our buddy Ryan Clark, this is his feature and we would never take it, but D Wood. Shout out, RC. D Wood was <laughs> tweeting up a storm yesterday yeah. and we need to dive into it. So you may have seen the piece, Seth Wickersham, Don Van Natta, Jeremy Fowler, a big article on Bill Belichick yesterday involving Robert Kraft and any number of other things. And D Wood tweeted, so many things I want to say about that Bill Belichick piece. Great job, Seth, Don, and Jeremy. Okay. Here's your chance to say so many things. Go. <laughs> man, what the hell is Robert Kraft doing, man? I mean, <laughs> listen, I'll suddenly you got the, the Dole Dynasty documentary, yes. which wasn't enduring to Bill Belichick at all. I mean, there, there's no, no ifs, ands, or buts about that. But then you read the piece, and you talk about Robert Kraft telling. Well, trust that man. <laughs> Robert Kraft talk, telling Arthur Blank, like, bruh. Metro Boone. Don't y'all trust that. Don't y'all hook up to like don't don't make this a marriage thing. Don't don't get together on this because that man will stab you in the back. That man bought you six chips, bro. Six chips. And you gonna hate on that man behind your back? Come on, bro. Ro Come on, Robert. Come on, man. What, what, what's, what's going on here? I just don't understand. What, 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 what did you hear in reaction around the league yesterday? Because that really was, for those of you who haven't read it, it is a very detailed, fascinating piece with so many things in it. But that was the one that really jumped out, was that he essentially warned Arthur Blank, the owner of the Falcons, against hiring Belichick. Yes, and in fairness, around the league, everybody calls in, all the head, new head coaches, GMs, they, their new teams called their old teams. They called their old players, like, tell me about so-and-so. So if Robert Kraft truly felt like that, then yes, he should be honest. However, when you look at the whole Patriots thing, to put it all on Bill, like, this is not a – for him not to be a head coach right now is still baffling. But now we know why. What did you think of this, EJ? Yeah, well, it was shocking, one, because, like Damian said, I mean, you bring in all these Super Bowls. Now, he did have Tom Brady with all those Super Bowls, too. Now, maybe that was the thought with Robert Kraft saying, hey, look, if you don't give him a Tom Brady or a Hall of Fame type of quarterback, maybe he's not as great of a coach. I don't know. But I was shocked to hear that his owner went back a month. Well, and look, and then also in the piece, it talks about the places that Bill is interested in going, and it's sort of a smorgasbord of NFC East mm -hmm. possibilities. Philadelphia, the Giants, the Cowboys, each of which feels as though they're one bad season away mm -hmm. from a possible mm -hmm. coaching change. What is your sense of that? So it's funny because with the Giants, the name that I've heard the most is not Belichick. Oh, it's actually a Belichick disciple. It's been Rabel. Like, that's the guy I've been told, like, keep an eye on him huh. in New York if anything happens. But regarding Belichick, I think, honestly, the Cowboys are the only place that he could go because Jerry is an owner who really doesn't care what people think. Like, he really is like, if this is the guy I want, I'm going to do it, as opposed to Arthur Blank, who we, re you know, we read in the piece. He was very swayed by it. You, you can warn me about anything you want. Bill Belichick is arguably the greatest NFL coach that ever lived. If you have a chance to hire him, you'd be crazy not to at least mm -hmm. consider